Yeah, yeah, I'm living my best life. Made a couple M's, you know. Ah! I said, I'm living my best life. I said, I'm living my best life. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Random Opinions, Reaction, and Reviews or Raw TV, however you want to say it. It's just the initials of my channel. I usually say if you don't know who I am by now, you got to get with the program, but today I'm going to actually introduce myself. I go by the name of Laminda Monet. And I wanted to do an impromptu video. As you guys know, if you watch my channel, if you're watching in my reviews or vlogs, I had to take the NCLEX. And I took the NCLEX on July 26th. I knew it was going to be a tough road coming. So let me just, I don't know, start off on what I did to study for the NCLEX. I went back and I have a bunch of books from the nursing program. I have a few up here. I didn't get everything, but... Okay, you see it. This is my medical surgical book for nursing. I have two of these books. I got this book at the end of the nursing program. I mean, as you can see, this book is very thin. It doesn't cover everything that's going to be on the NCLEX, pretty much. It just prepares me for the NCLEX. I received NCLEX examination. It's similar to this book right here that I just showed. But as you can see, it's a lot thicker. For the most part, I went on YouTube because YouTube has everything you need to know. If you need to know how to live life, it's there. If you need to know what to wear today, it's there. I was on YouTube surfing, trying to figure out test strategies, how to answer, select all that apply questions. I was getting the questions right. And I'm like, okay, yes, I'm getting these questions right. But I didn't feel like it was preparing me enough because the nursing program, you pretty much have a question, right? And the question, you can have all the right answers and one be the most right. And that's how our questions are patterned, pretty much. Or we go after priority question, like three different people come into the ED. Which person would the nurse see first? And you want to see that person that pretty much die if they don't have any treatment. So I just felt like the YouTube questions wasn't testing me enough. I heard from a bunch of my nursing friends, we're calling each other, how'd you do on NCLEX? Oh, you know what? I failed. This is what I was getting from a lot of the nursing students that I went to school with. They were calling me, I passed the NCLEX, I passed the NCLEX. So I'm like, there is a possibility that I could still pass. July 25th comes and I was not feeling ready. And I went through this every day during school. Whenever I had a test, I had real bad anxiety. and It was just all bad. Like my stomach was in a knot. I had a headache. I have postatile tinnitus, you guys, because of school. Meaning I hear my heartbeat in my ear constantly. Have I gotten checked? No. I did bring it up to my doctor, you know, and I was supposed to go into um, ear, nose, and throat for them to check me out. But but it was around the time where I was in school. I didn't have any time, any off days. So I had to put my health aside and focus on school. I know it sounds bad, but when you're in school, you have to make sacrifices. And that's what I chose to do. And July 25th gets here and I'm like, girl, girl, why didn't you reschedule the test? Because the state will allow you to reschedule a test if you give them two days notice. And it was one day's notice. I'm like, oh, why didn't you think about this the Wednesday before? Because my test was on a Friday. I'm like, why didn't you think about this, sis? Why? I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to continue to study. In school, they told us all the time, you guys do not study the day before NCLEX. So as you can see, that I'm doing everything wrong. One, I'm cramming. My daughter's birthday was July 16th. I did everything I could to make sure her birthday was a success. I focused on her versus me engulfing myself in my books and starting to study the moment I got out of school. I studied the night before the test. I'm still like, you know what? There's a possibility. I'm praying to God. I have been praying for a whole week. God, 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 please let me pass this test. Please. It was on my mind in the back of my head, but I did everything I could to like wash my mind of it and focus on other things because I have real bad anxiety. So the night before the NCLEX, I remember praying and listening to meditation and saying, you know, God, please let me pass the NCLEX. Guide my, my computer mouse even if I don't know the, the answer to the question, point out the answer, let it stick out. And I'm like, you know what? God always been, been my G, you know? Um, I don't know your spiritual relationship with God, but God has always been there for me. 
in school he helped me through school because I wouldn't have been able to do it without him and I pray all the time and he always came through so when I go in to take the test you guys I'm nervous um talking about it I'm getting nervous my mouth was dry my hands were like sweaty my heart was beating fast I'm just thinking everything is wrong I'm like oh my god did I bring my ID so I'm double checking to see if I have my ID at one point I thought I was lost I'm familiar with where the testing center was and I still was like oh my god I'm lost I don't know where I'm going I'm gonna miss the test like just freaking out I just felt like I'm like it's just my energy my aura is off I'm still in the back of my head like look you trust all things God so don't sit up here and think you're going to fail when you just pray to him don't worry but that's all i was doing and my head was worrying i sit down to take the test you guys and i had studied fluid and electrolyte my first couple questions were fluid and electrolytes i said yes i got this thank you jesus thank you god like finally i know i'm going to pass this is my first couple questions right i had questions about different ethnic groups I completely glossed over that you guys it's in this freaking book the first couple pages talks about different ethnic groups different nationalities I said look sis you ain't gonna need to know that and I got a question I'm like oh my god it was about Jews I'm like I know nothing about Jews I'm like oh my god if you ask me anything about African American, but it's like, sis, why did you even read that? You're African American. You would have been able to guess that, that bit of information. They said African American, they choose their life habits or their relationships with others over their health. Remember what I just told you about my positive tinnitus? They said that black people are late for appointments. We call that cp time you know i knew all that i'm like okay they asked me about a question like that i got this like but they asked me about a freaking jew i'm like i know nothing they asked me about mormons i knew nothing i'm like oh my god i hope i guessed right but in my head i'm like i think i guessed right then towards the middle of the test you guys i start to be like you know what i kept getting all select all that applies in, in my head I'm listening to my friend Kelly shout out to you Kelly I'm listening to her say if you get a lot of select all that applies that's a good thing because that means that you're answering the questions right so I'm like okay I'm getting a lot of select all that apply but I didn't feel like I studied in depth for select all that apply questions I would have like five six different choices right I would know for sure two or three of them but then it was one that will always be like, could this be it? Could this not? And it was just horrible, horrible, horrible. Then I get past, what, 150 questions. I'm like, I'm still in this game because if I failed, it probably would have shut off. So I'm probably just still there on the, the margin. And then I get to 200 questions and I'm starting to like get nervous. And then I'm like, okay, maybe when I get to 215, it'll shut off. No, it kept going. And then it goes on to 245. Then I get to 250. So I'm like, oh my God, like I'm at 250. It's going to shut off. No, I got to 251. I'm like, Jesus, okay, what's going on? Then I go to 252, 253, and it kept going. And then I got to 260, you guys. By that time, I had used up my full six hours that it shut off. I'm a slow chest taker at that. I don't know if I mentioned that, but... Growing up, learning in school, I realized just because you're a slow test taker doesn't mean that you'll end up with a bad grade. Because in school, I'd be the last to finish and I'd have the, the highest grade in class. School, nursing school, it made me feel dumb. Period, point blank. I felt stupid. I felt incompetent. I didn't feel like myself. All throughout elementary, high school, I was a straight A student. A couple B's here and there, you know. And then all of a sudden I got to nursing school and I didn't go to school to college right after school. I actually got pregnant in between, decided I didn't want to go to college. And then all of a sudden my career just landed in my lap and I was like, this is what I want to do. So I became a medical clerk and I'm like, oh, I love patients so much. I want to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with them. Why not go to school for nursing? And I did that, you guys, like, and it was the hardest thing I've ever had to endure. You guys couldn't even imagine, like, 
They don't tell you when you get into nursing school that your hormones are gonna be all over the place. They don't tell you that you're not gonna feel like yourself. It's gonna get harder and harder. Sometimes in school, in elementary, you could do process of elimination, guess the right answer. Yeah, you could do that with nursing school, but nursing school is harder because every answer on that test could be right. But you gotta figure out what the priority is. And I just wasn't equipped for that. You know, in nursing, you have to become equipped to know the information. Studying is not gonna get you that good grade. Not just studying alone. You have to know the material. You have to be one with the material. And that's something that I feel like I lacked in nursing school. And I had to read books word for word to get a good grade on the test. So then when I get home, I talk to my friend, I say, girl, I failed. She said, no girl, you passed. You passed because everybody feels like they failed. I already told you this. I said, no girl, it's different. It's different. I failed. I just know it. I know it. I know it. And I didn't come with this video right away because I was sad. Like I was legitly sad. And as you guys can see now, I'm, I'm better. It took me two weeks to get better. I came home, I did the Pearson view trick. For the for those of you who don't know what the Pearson view trick is, you go on Pearson view online and you pretty much register to take the NCLEX again, even though you've already registered. And you go through the whole application process. You use your card information like you're paying to take the NCLEX. And if it says your card is declined or it accepts your payment, that means you failed. But if it comes up with this box that pretty much says that you've already taken the NCLEX or you're under review, then that means you passed. And my friend, she got the good pop-up. And me, I got the bad pop-up. And I was ashamed, humiliated. I didn't want to tell my family because I went into nursing not just for myself, not just for the patients, but for my daughter. You know, and I was ashamed. I didn't want to tell anybody. But through this whole experience, I had my sisters. My little sister, Ty, you guys go subscribe to her page. Her, she goes by the name of Ty Quintus Monique. I'm gonna leave her link below. I called her like, girl, I failed. And you know, she gave me some good advice. I told my boyfriend, he gave me a hug. And now I'm telling you guys, YouTube, just because I want to get my story out there just so other people know and not be humiliated. I've never been, I haven't been humiliated before that badly in life. It's one thing to be humiliated as a kid, but it's a whole nother thing to be humiliated as an adult. And me, I have thick skin. I don't care what people say about me. I will pull my wig off on freaking YouTube and not even care. Boy, if you don't... You know, I did videos in my do-rag. Like, I could care less about my appearance. I could care less about what people say about me, what they think about me. I have thick skin. I've gone through some of the toughest times. It's equipped me to be this person that I am today. I felt defeated when I walked out. I didn't want to be bothered. I literally sat outside the building after I took the NCLEX for an hour before I called anybody, before I had contact with anybody. It was one of the worst days of my life. <laughs> but I'm here, I made it, like, you guys just don't know. Even though I know I fell because of the Pearson View trick, I was like, I still held out hope. And then my results came in that Tuesday and it had a big fail. Like, to me, the words were small, but they were so big. And it, my heart dropped again. And I said, you know what? I know exactly what I did wrong. I took a two weeks off again just to clear my mind because if I had been thinking about this, I wouldn't feel as good as I feel right now. So what I plan to do is just study my butt off. I'm gonna start Monday. I'm gonna um, get you world. I'm gonna study day in and day out. I'm going to be serious this time around because I realized my downfalls and this is what got me into this predicament. And you have to wait 45 days before you can take the NCLEX again. So it's like, now I have, I'm just sitting here. I have to study. I've wasted 45 days of my life. I could have been working right now if I had to just did the right thing from the get go. So you guys is watching this. I want you to know that's what happened to my subscribers, to anybody that's new that will be checking out this page that's going into nursing school, that is my advice if you watch this entire video. Um, 
if you are wondering if you felt the inclex, you almost know. You know, you almost know. And if you feel like you don't know, then do the piercing view tr trick. It really works. They say on all the YouTube platforms that it's not 100% accurate. I've heard no nobody say that it hasn't worked. So try the piercing view trick for people that have just recently taken the NCLEX. It works. You guys, that was my impromptu video. I hope I didn't bore your life. I will pass eventually. And that's all, you guys. I'm done talking your ear off. I will see you guys later, whether it be for a review, whether it be for a vlog, whether it be for who knows what, a prank. Like, you guys, I have so much stuff planned for this channel. I just need you guys to work with me and let's grow together. I guess I will see you later. Bye. I finally made my mind on that I can't go back broke. They saying that my time up, my back against the rope. I hustle got my grind on that when I